Hey, how's it going? Today, let's build a rustic entryway coat rack of barn wood. Check it out. All right, so all you need for this project is some sort of chunk of wood and some, whatever you call these things, hanging brackets. Hooks, I guess. We'll call them hooks. All right, so what we're gonna do is just space some of these hooks um, on the board, start in about the middle, and just see how many I can put on here with it still looking good. So I can do, looks like five comfortably. Let's space them out a little bit and see. I think it'll still look good with six, so I'm gonna go ahead and do six. Now, to get the exact spacing, use a tape measure. Measure the full length of your board. Divide that by however many pieces, however many hooks you want to use, plus one. I've got 30, my board is 38 inches long, so I'm gonna divide that by seven, because I've got six hooks plus one. Because you're dividing the spaces between the hooks. Now you can use a pencil to write uh, and mark your lines on here, but if you're off a little bit, then you gotta erase them and hope it doesn't change the surface too much. Um, I'm using barnwood and it's exactly the character I want it to be. So I don't want to mess that up. So instead of marking right on here, I want to lay down some tape in a straight line um, on either side of the center at the thickness, or width I guess, of, of these hook like bases. So that I can literally just plop it down and screw it in. Plop it down and screw it in. A lot less thought goes into that. I like that. <laughs> so um, that will keep it, everything lined up just where it needs to be. I can mark right on the tape and not worry about it. And then as soon as I'm done screwing these in, I pull the tape right off and no marks are on the board. Should work pretty well. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna start by throwing my tape measure in the ground. And then I'm gonna measure the width, no, I'm gonna measure the height of that bracket. This one is one and three sixteenths of an inch. So I will measure the height of my board and subtract one and three sixteenths of an inch, which puts me uh, nine inches minus one and three sixteenths is seven and 13 sixteenths. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Um, so divide that by two, which is, you know, math. All right, so what I've done is put a tape about in the middle. I marked the actual middle point, and then I took, I divided, you know, an inch and three sixteenths by two, and put the difference on either side. And I did the same thing on the other side. Now I'll take a piece of tape from here to the bottom mark on the other side, and from here to the top mark on the other side. And that'll give me the exact height of, of these hooks going all the way across. Then I can mark on the tape. You can put down a straight edge for this, but if you pull a tape tight enough, it'll act as its own straight edge. That'd be just fine. This is 38 inches long. Make yours whatever length you want. This is just a, what fits my space nicely. Um, so 38 divided by seven, because it's six plus one, equals out to just less than five and a half. So I'm gonna do five and like seven sixteen. So just shy of that. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. Most people aren't gonna come to your house with a ruler and check the spacing on your coat hooks. I like to do from each end, I'll do one or two, and then I'll do one or two from this end. That way, if you have a mistake, it's not gonna multiply itself and end up way off. At least then you can hide the mistakes in the middle. And that tells me where to center these, I can put them right in. Flap it down and screw it in. All right, this next step is not necessary, but it just helps a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is put a few drops 
of in almost instant glue. It's called CA glue. Um, just like one drop on each side. And then I will spray the wood with activator. And then once you put them together, it's like an instant hold. One, two, three, four, five. So do the same thing for all these. And it's just gonna make it a little bit easier when I'm screwing these all in. Yeah, That's you cool. got a lot of different characters on hat and cord. Awesome. Yeah, you got a lot of different characters. You can use whatever one you want to use. Yeah, thanks, Pretty bud. Much. Cool. Yeah, this is my old one in mallet, but I had two one in mallet, but... Now that these are temporarily held in place with that super glue. Yeah, maybe we try hang that tonight. Think so? Yeah. Okay. So, proof of concept. The first one worked with the screws, but it took a little bit to get the screws in. So I'm just gonna pre-drill all these, at least enough to get them started. Once they're in, even a little bit, it'll be fine. What's up, dude? I know what kind of bit your counter paint. Not quite, though. <laughs> Those are called Forstner bits over there. Oh! That night clean hole. That's right, yes, yeah, so the Forstner bit makes a nice clean hole. Good job. Yeah. So we do different tighter a poon and lot of different tighter a toe. Yeah, dude. Yeah, the medium, bigger than medium. See, that medium is that bigger than medium. Big, bigger, bigger, bigger. Um, I broke the head off one of my screws inside the hole, so that's fun. Um, it's not a problem. I've got three other screws in there. That's gonna hold the bracket on plenty, uh, plenty strong enough. And actually, I'm just gonna use just a dab of this CA glue on the inside of that and glue it on and no one looking will ever know unless they've watched my video. And to all four of you, thank you. Um, I'll do that in a little bit. Um, but that's a good reminder not to use an impact driver for putting in screws. That should be done with a drill driver on a lower setting you know, somewhere down here. That way, if it feels resistance, there's too much resistance, then it won't snap the head of the screw off. Now all that's left to do is peel off this tape. So off camera, I put uh, a couple pieces of tape um, at the level of where I want this, and I marked on the tape where the studs are. I also pre-drilled some holes that will hold this right to the studs. Um, I'm gonna preload these into this, these holes, if I can find the holes, uh, just so I don't have to fiddle with them when they're up on the wall. All there is to it is just screw them out of the wall. This video could have really been summed up in like 12 words. Put some hooks on a board and put it on a wall. I mean, it's really that easy, but I had some fun hanging out with my kid in the shop while making this video. And we had some very interesting conversations. Um, and that made it so much more valuable of a project than just buying a, a coat rack at the store. Um, Father's Day is coming up. It's 
spend some time with your kids. They're in the shop or doing whatever they want to do. But uh, go, and, go and spend some quality time with your family. There it is. Thank you. Have a good one. Maybe. Well, air guitar. Off this tape. Maybe nicely. Oh, bummer. <laughs> the first one it caught on. And it's going to catch on everyone. That's fun. Oh, well. So I'll cut that all out with a knife later, I guess. But it will be harder to cut it out with scissors. Yeah, I won't be able to cut it out with scissors, bud. Man. I can't see because I'm looking at the, the bright light on the phone. It's kind of blinding, so that's cool. <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Are you laughing at Daddy? <laughs> that was on me. Let's try that again. I don't know.